So this is just a uh, quick update to my Caribe tank. This is a 135. I got nine Caribe. I had nine Caribe in here. And um, I know this is not a good long-term size tank for them, but I had one of my Caribe jump out three days ago because I didn't have the appropriate back strap or back strip on there, whatever you want to call it. So I ordered that up and I put it on today. So I mean, you can kind of blame me or whatever for not taking the uh, appropriate precautions in the beginning. But so right now I only have eight left. There are my eight Caribe. And um, they're, they're putting on some size. I had them for a little, probably over two months now. I don't even know. I have to look and see. But, you know, these guys are good eaters. And um, I just want to see, see them grow up. So I have a couple other tanks that I'll probably have to split them up into as they get bigger and so forth and so on. So this is, like I said, this is just an update to my Caribe tank, which is a 135 gallon, six foot long aquarium. I have an FX6 on here and a Sea Chem Tidal um, 110 on there. And just a sponge filter that I can use to seed another tank if need be or whatever. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you didn't subscribe for more content and videos like this, and share the video. Oh yeah, I want to actually uh, send a shout out to um, Golden Fish Keeper, I believe. I'll drop his uh, information below for recommending the six foot backstrap for my tank. And six foot was enough for me to do this tank. And my other tank over there, I have a, another uh, piranha in there. But uh, thanks. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace.